Hi folks, this is a short video about how to set up a journal tool activity in your module. So this video goes through how to set up a journal tool for all the students in your module. If you want journals for small groups of students, and I should say that journals are almost always an individual activity, whether they happen across the module or in groups, then I will be covering how to set up group journals in a different video. So what we want to do is, because this is an assessed piece of work, we're going to create our journal in the assessment and grades area of our module. So we go up to tools, journals in the assessment and grades area. We're going to create a new journal. And in this scenario, I'm going to say that this is a work placement reflections journal. And the instructions are where you need to specify what you want students to do. Um, so expectations for this activity, how they're going to be marked, um, where they can go for help, any help materials about how to use the journal tool itself, and how often they should be posting reflections. And also any links to any frameworks that they might use um, or prompts for the reflections. Um, we want the journal to be available and we're not going to set the journal date and time restrictions at this point. We can set them on the actual link that students use so we don't end up with two layers of permissions potentially. We're going to index it by month. We are going to allow users to edit and delete entries. Um, we are going to use the comments for formative feedback so I'm not going to allow students to delete comments. Um, it's just quite nice to use comments as a way to um, encourage students in their reflections. So uh, I expect that I will be the only person actually commenting on this journal as the instructor. Um, this, but this tick box here is really important, this option to permit course users to view journal. 99 times out of 100 you don't want to tick this box. The only time you might want to tick it is potentially if you had a, a sort of um, activity where you ask students to reflect on work placements and then you had said all along that those reflections would be shared with the class at some point later in the module, then you could use this to um, then make all the journal entries available to all the students on the module. But Typically the reason why you use a journal is that it's an individual activity and it's private to each individual student. If you were doing something that was more discursive, then a blog would be more suitable and a blog is always accessible to all the students on the module, even if it's an individual blog. So we're going to mark this and it's going to be marked out of a hundred but it is just going to be a pass fail type assessment um, so we're going to be having the pass mark at set at 40 and so in fact we should set it to 40 because then that way it's um, going to be the pass fail type assessment layout so then we hit submit and then we're going to add the link so and then we're going to keep, uh, reuse that text we had from before. So if you're savvy, you can copy and paste that into a little notebook and then paste it back in again so you don't have to type it all. So that's a pro tip for you. Um, that notebook app I just used is available on Windows 10 and Windows 7. Uh, so this is where we could add some date restrictions if we wanted to. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit. I want to reorganize this area of the module to bring the workplace reflections journal up to the top. And I just want to point out if you had, if you needed to go and revise the settings of the journal at any time, you're going to find that under the journals area of the module. So it's in course tools, journals, and then this is where you can actually manage the settings of the journal. So if we need to go back to the page where we had all the options, the instructions, and the different um, options for view, 
and the deadline, that's all back in that page. Now, we're just going to have a quick look at this activity in the Grade Center. Because it is a summative activity, we need to hide the column from students until we're ready for them to see it. So that's just the arrow on the top right hand side of the column, hide from students, and then that's hidden. And then the other thing we might do is actually apply um, a marking schema onto this column so that it shows as pass fail. So we can add it as undergraduate pass fail um, and then if I hit submit then that will be possible. So I've got my little preview user here and just to demonstrate the maximum points we allowed were 40 but that would be a pass and then if I put zero instead that would be a fail. So that's how it's going to display to students. It's either 40 pass or zero fail in this case the way I've set it up because it's a pass fail exercise. So let's give me a pass, that's nice. <laughs> right, okay, so that is essentially how you can use journals and uh, they're a really cool little tool, uh, can be used for a variety of different reasons and I would like to thank you for viewing this video.